Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children whose parents don't pay attention to what they Google. You were joined, as always, by me, your hero, your role model, personal savior to the dozens and dozens of Jesus of Hope across the globe. It occurred to me the other day that, you know, I've told you a lot about my dad and his, his quasi-erotic love of ducks, and, and about how I grew up in the midlife crisis country. You know, we weren't quite the old world, we weren't quite the new world, but we had tight pants and a comb over. A simple place where, where the rich rode horses and the poor ate them. I've told you about all of that, but I've never told you about my mom. So I would like to take the time now to do that. Mom was a, a free spirit, one can say. Prior to Quaaludes and Prozac melting her brain, she was a famous artist. You know that picture on electronics that shows you which way to put the batteries in? That was her. She was, uh, she was a free spirited, you know, anti conformist, definitely. And I don't mean like anti conformist, like we ate off brand cereal and had a goat in the backyard. I mean, like, I, I, I don't have a birthday, because everybody has a birthday, and birthdays are conformist. Uh, to this day, I, I, I don't know how old I am. Somewhere between 29 and 34. Take, take your pick. Uh, I wasn't allowed to go to school, because knowing the same thing that everybody else knows is conformist. Uh, I didn't know what the alphabet was until after I hit puberty. Uh, I, I grew up thinking Timothy Leary was the 17th satellite of the bowl of pasta. He's not, it's Q. It's not a bowl of pasta, it's the alphabet. And Q's not a satellite, it's a letter, it's a fucking consonant. But I wasn't allowed to know that, because the alphabet was conformist. I wasn't allowed to play in any of the community league, I wasn't allowed to play sports, no, no. No son of hers was going to be a pawn of the military-industrial complex. It's a fucking soccer uniform, it's not like I went and joined the Viet Cong while you were curled up in the tub with a bottle of wine. She'd just look at me and be like, oh, Tommy... Uh, that was the other thing. Apparently having a consistent name growing up is conformist. You know, Tommy, Billy, Steve, Cindy Lou, no more than two. Pick a random name out of a fucking hat, and odds are my mother called me that. It's not to say she wasn't a loving woman. Or she was. She was very loving. I remember once she went to the store to, to get a stick of butter, a quart of milk, and a loaf of bread, and... She came home with my eight-year-old maybe baby sister. You gotta have a lot of love to give to abduct a child from a Piggly Wiggly and raise them as your own. That's what I'm saying. She, uh, she used to tell me a lot of stories when I was young. She used to tell me a lot of stories. They were her own stories, of course, because, you know, children's books are conformist. So they were similar to stories you, you know, but they were a little different. And, uh, and once I figured out what the alphabet was, I, I started writing down the stories she'd tell me because, uh, you know, when I finally snap and shoot up a Piggly Wiggly, I, I want there to be a paper trail proving why I did it. When Jesus snaps, there's a reason. That's, that's, I actually got some of the stories here. Yeah, I'd, I'd like to read them. I'd like to share them with you. As I said, they they may sound somewhat familiar. Uh, the first one's called Jack and Phil. Ahem, ahem. Jack and Phil went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Alas, when they got to the top, they found that Whitey McGee himself had sealed off the well. 
Ha ha ha, laughed Whitey McGee. Now they'll have no choice but to buy my tainted bottled water. Ha ha ha, I'm so evil. Well, Jack would not stand for that, no sir. And he kissed his same-sex lover one last time. And armed with righteous justice and C4, he climbed that hill and he liberated that well. Two weeks later, he was arrested and charged with acts of terrorism. He hung himself in prison. Then my mother would, would lean in close, kiss me on the cheek, and whisper ever so softly, Remember, Tommy, freedom's the only thing worth dying for. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, uh, try going to sleep with that around it. Oh, yeah, that's what you dream about when you close your eyes. Here, here, I got, I got another one. This is a good one. This is, oh, I, I, oh yeah, you're going to like this one. Here, Jack Spratt. You remember Jack Spratt? Yeah. Jack Spratt could eat no fat because GMOs are poison. Is that even me? I had you, how the atheists stole Christmas? That, 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 was, that was a good one, especially considering I wasn't allowed to celebrate Christmas because holidays are conformist. There, there you are, like a more years old. Old Mother Hubbard, you remember Old Mother Hubbard? Here's Old Mother Hubbard here. You know. Old Mother Hubbard went to the cupboard to fetch her poor dog a bone. But when she got there, the cupboard was bare because she had been laid off as part of a massive downsizing due to corrupt insider trading. Was the moral of that one? It, me and my therapist have been working on that one for a few years, and you, well, well, we haven't quite figured it out yet. He just bought a home in the south of France, so, so yeah, at least something good's coming from this. Here, I'll, one more. I'll leave you with one more. So, tell this one to your children. They'll love it. Little Miss Muffet sat on her tuffet, eating her curds and wine. Along came a spider that sat down beside her. And that's how Spider-Man was made. Good night, everybody.